The DPF traps the particles present in the exhaust gases, which then forms a layer of soot on its walls. After a cycle, a distance or a level of saturation varying from one vehicle to another, the DPF will increase its temperature in order to burn the accumulated soot and carbon deposits. For this generation to take place, very high temperatures are needed. Short journeys and city driving prevent this regeneration to take place. The carbon deposits accumulate and the filter gets clogged. Loss of power. The DPF warning light switches on. The car goes in restricted performance mode. The engine suffocates and stalls. Use Bardal 360 5-in-1 machine to clean the diesel particulate filter. Cleaning procedure duration, one hour. Products used, DPF cleaning kit, one kit equals one car. Protect your hands and eyes during the procedure and avoid contact with skin. Eco-friendly. Particles of soot are completely dissolved and burned, not released in the environment. Connectors. Use the correct ones provided with the machine. Read the default codes with the diagnosis tool. Cancel errors if any. Check the engine oil and coolant levels and make sure that the tank contains a quarter of fuel. Connect the machine to the car battery. Push the on-off button until the lines light up. Locate the DPF sensor that is located in the engine compartment. If not accessible, directly connect the machine onto the DPF filter. Start the cleaning procedure with a cold engine to have better results. To start the DPF cleaning program, pour 1 litre of product number 1 into the tank located at the back of the machine, using a funnel. There are two different cleaning treatments and a flushing program. The first one is called Normal. Make a preventive treatment when the DPF is not oversaturated. The second one is called severe for a heavy cleaning operation, used when the DPF is clogged. The third program, called flush, needs to be done after the cleaning procedure. Before starting, make sure to place a drip tray under the exhaust to collect the foam that will come out. Start the engine and choose one cleaning program by pushing one or two times on the black button. The cleaning procedure will start automatically. At the end of the procedure, there will be a sound signal. Now accelerate the engine speed and maintain 2500 RPM for 3 to 4 minutes. Once the cleaning procedure is done, pour the 2 litres flushing product into the tank of the machine using a funnel. Push three times on the program button to start the flushing procedure. Maintain the engine speed at 2500 RPM during the flushing operation. At the end of the cycle, remove the connection hoses and let the engine run at idle speed for 3 to 4 minutes to make sure that the hoses get perfectly dry. Don't forget the last step. Pour the DPF regenerator into the fuel tank. This solution will help starting up the regeneration of DPF filter and will clean all remaining particles. Read the default codes with the diagnosis tool again. Cancel errors if any. Run a driving test for 20 minutes at an engine speed of 3000 RPM to 4000 RPM. If the automatic regeneration does not start, launch it via the diagnosis tool following the car manufacturer's instructions. Mm -hmm.